health and immigration officials at the points of entry are to grant access to fully vaccinated Namibians, permanent residents and truck drivers as government scrapped the PCR test result requirement. By Sunday, however, the new regulations were not yet received at the points of entry. This has prompted the health ministry to clarify that it is yet to distribute the copies of Government Gazette to the officials, airlines and other transport operators. The, the new measures, mm-hmm. the requirements, came only in effect yesterday. So it is possible that the government government the, the government regulations which are normally uh which are published in government, in the government gazette become because before they become effective mm-hmm. have not reached everybody yet and mind mind you yesterday it was a sunday mm-hmm. yeah so d- gradually all the people will be informed they will have copies of the government gazette on which to make a reference. Just like any other document, Dr. Shangula admits that the vaccination cards are at risk of being forged given the vaccine uptake hesitancy observed in the country at about 23%. The minister, however, says the cards bear features which can protect them against forgery. Uh, For our purpose, there are some specific features in the vaccination card, specific entries in the vaccination card, which 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 one cannot uh, cannot forge, and it will be easy for us to identify whether it, it is authentic or not authentic. But obviously, we will not disclose this information to the public. The decision to exempt the fully vaccinated Namibians, permanent residents, and truck drivers from entering the country with negative results was taken after they met the requirements. Minister Shangula says government is aware that fully vaccinated persons can still contract the virus, but they are at least protected from severe illness and hospitalization. Blanche Corre says NBC News. Ventuk.